With a population of nearly 200 million people and counting, Nigeria, like many other countries in the world, faces numerous challenges in catering for the basic social needs of its people. The World Poverty Clocks ranks it as the number one country globally where so many people live in extreme poverty. It says 50% of Nigerians face this appalling reality. Over the years, corruption, misappropriation and mismanagement have sunk many communities deeper into poverty, thus preventing access to social amenities such as hospitals and clinics, roads and schools. But a local development organization called Connected Development has joined ranks with the local communities to stop the wanton abuse of public resources and demand land rights and environmental sustainability. Connected Development is a non-governmental organization that hopes to empower marginalized communities. We do this by creating platforms for informed debates between government and the people. And for us, we leverage on technology tool and mobilizing young people to use their technology tool to document voices and amplify them. This organization was founded in 2012. The organization's signature project is called Follow the Money. The project tracks allocations made in the national budget for development and follows up to ensure that the projects and programs earmarked are fully implemented. This campaign was devised after a devastating lead poisoning incident at a gold mine in the town of Bagega in Zamfara State, Nigeria. I found out that over 700 children had died due to artisanal mining. Uh, two, no single cent of the dollar got to this community. And three, 1,500 children were very sick and at the verge of dying if nothing is done. So first, the community needed environmental cleanup because uh, the air and the soil was contaminated and the water. And they needed a healthcare intervention by these kids. So what I did was to use my mobile phone to document their voices. And, and when I say document voices, uh, a journalist would say, you know, I was doing amateur pictures and video. I was just recording, asking grandmothers, mothers who have lost kids and households where you lost, some households, 12 children died, you know, because in the north, they're, they're a big family. You know, talking to miners, so why are you mining? Do you know this is killing innocent children? You know, talking to health workers, what are your, what are your limitations, you know, what are your frustrations? And, and then putting all this information, sometimes we call it data, on Twitter, on Facebook. So I created a hashtag called Save Bagega, and then we amplified, you know, what those... What was the name of the hashtag? Save Bagega. So the name of the community was Bagega, and they needed to be saved. You know, so we pushed all this content on Twitter and Facebook, and less than uh, 48 hours, we were trending. On Twitter, on Facebook, Al Jazeera, CNN, BBC picked our story, and, and in less than 72 hours, the president responded and, and released uh, $5.3 million. And, and I'm sure you'd say, well, money was released in the past, but this time around, we were there to follow the money. So when he made the announcement, what we did was to get the budget information and the plan of how this money was meant to be spent. And then we start tracking it from Abuja to Guso and to the community. And today, over 1,500 children got free medical intervention. The environment is cleaned up. And you know, communities are empowered now because they have access to information. But they have someone who is creating a platform where they can engage government and policymakers. What started as a national campaign has now taken a regional dimension with more followers and partners across the West Africa sub-region working hand in hand to demand accountability, sustainable land use and fiscal discipline on the part of the authorities. When we started uh, the, the Save Bagega campaign, we now, government now realized that they need to uh, review the 2007 Mining Act because uh, uh, it does not meet the, the, the reality of now. And we're also uh, you know, adding our voice to that conversation. But most importantly, in Nigeria today, we have young people who are leading Follow the Money campaigns in the 36 states and the FCT. And now we're now trickling down to getting young people in all the 774 local government. But most importantly, we've now scaled to other African countries. And now there's growing needs to come to even US, Europe, Canada, to come and teach them how to follow the money. For me, it's exciting because this is a homegrown local initiative providing solutions. And today, 
Connected Development is the leading civil society organization that is working to ensure government achieves the sustainable development goal. Since its establishment seven years ago, Connected Development has won many awards, including the 2019 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals SDGs Award. Two years earlier, it won the One Africa Award as the best organization in Africa working to achieve the SDGs. That award came with a $100,000 cash prize. For the leader of this organization, the awards are a valuable recognition of the tremendous impact that his organization is making on the lives of millions of people.